Hello dear students, today we are going to do some of the rank ensuring questions from the S block elements. You know that S block elements is a very vast topic and even if we study the full chapter, questions can come from a different area, a totally different question can come. So the best thing to learn, the best way to learn the S block elements part is to see as many questions are possible. So today here we are going to do 25 questions in 10 to 12 minutes and uh, write down all the facts that we are learning by, uh, during this time and all the reactions so that you can sum up and read towards your examination. This is important for not just one exam but every entrance exam. This S block elements part is really really important. So let's begin. Uh, I won't give explanation for many questions uh, because some of the questions need to just be done no need of any explanation as such so first question is regarding a reaction magnesium burns in air to give so the answer is both option a and option b why because air can contain both oxygen and um, nitrogen if it is having oxygen it will be having mg plus o2 gives mgo and if it is reacting with n2 it will be giving mg3 n2 okay so A and B are the answer. The second one is another reaction that is about calcium cyanamide reacting with steam to form ammonia and what. So what is the uh, steam means it's water. So the formula of calcium cyanide will be cyanamide will be CaCN2 plus H2O and uh, reacts with steam and here and carbon dioxide is there. Okay I forgot to write in the question steam and carbon dioxide. So along with that we are having CO2 and it will be forming definitely forming calcium carbonate plus NH2CN so CA CO3 will be the answer go to the third question which of the following hydride is the most stable we are having uh, three four different hydrates and the smallest among these is LIH and LIH itself is the most stable hydride among these why because of the small size it forms small size stable hydride write down this point stable hydride next is a question from a factual question that is sulfates of which of the following does not form alum you all know what alum is and the sulfate of d that is lithium does not form alum that you have to learn as such for many questions in uh, s block elements we do not have a logical explanation instead you have to learn it because it's some experimental observations now the next question which of the following elements are called bridge elements these are another set of important uh, important things that is um, the elements are called bridge elements what are the bridge elements bridge elements will be option c na and mg why because na links uh, the elements in 1a and 1b and mg links mg links the elements in 2a and 2b okay that's why these are called the bridge what is the bridge the bridge act as a link between two different things this is one another very important question a metal m readily forms water soluble mso4 and it forms an oxide mo which becomes inert on heating the hydroxide is insoluble in water but soluble in naoh so it is definitely we know the answer will be of beryllium that is answer is option a this also you have to learn as such we do not have too much explanation but instead this is an experimental observation the next question is about global salt what is global salt global salt is option one that is sorry that is option b na2so4 dot 10 h2o that is the answer of uh, global salt okay so the next question is white phosphorus on reaction with naoh gives ph3 as one of the product and this is which of the following reaction it is definitely a disproportion reaction first of all you can see this is the reaction that occurs p4 naoh plus 3 h2o gives ph3 and nah2 po2 then what is disproportionation reaction in a disproportionation reaction the same element will have two different oxidation number changes for example here in phosphorus changes to 0 to plus 1 in uh, here as in in case of nh2 po2 that is uh, in case of n uh, ph3 that it changes from 0 to minus 3 so it is undergoing both uh, oxidation number is increased as well as decreased so that is a disproportionation reaction now the next question is which among the following are not paramagnetic the answer is k2o2 all the others are paramagnetic here that is also an experimental observation the next question is which has the least molar sol solubility in this 
so which one is having the least molar solubility it is also a purely experimental observation and the answer is kcl if you want you can take down the values of the molar solubility lacl is having 19.6 nacl is having 6.2 kcl is having 4.8 and then we are having rubidium rbcl is having 7.5 and cesium chloride is having 11 so these are the values of the molar solubility now the next question is the important ore of magnesium is the most important ore of magnesium is c carnalite that you have to study learn by heart because can the question can come at uh, on any day the next question is also related to an equation that is Cl2O6 reacting with BaOH twice gives what of which of the following as the product and the answer is option D this option D Ba ClO3 twice plus Ba ClO4 twice this is the answer and I am very sorry we cannot give any ex, any uh, logical reasoning or something like that even like in organic reaction some of the reaction you have to start learn by heart because otherwise it will be difficult for you to write the answers in the examination hall but I can be sure if we, you do the four series that we are going to do in the S block elements part you are going to attend 99 percentage of the questions that come from the part of S block so please write down this reaction as well the next question is the solution of Na metal in liquid NH3 is strong reductant due to the presence of this is a very simple uh, very solvated electrons is the answer and there is one more uh, blue color the solutions will be having blue color because of the solvated electrons as well so you should remember both these the answer for both are solvated electrons then the next question the 15th question is uh, the sesquioxides is paramagnetic in nature because of the uh, presence of the answer is option c and why because the oxides that is the oxide m2o3 actually exist in the dimerized state as m4o6 and this m4o6 can be written as m4 O2 2 minus and O2 minus whole twice. So you know superoxide is the O2 minus ion. So that is the reason for the paramagnetic nature. Okay. Next question is the co compound insoluble in acetic acid is the uh, co compound insoluble in acetic acid is option C calcium oxalate because calcium oxide calcium oxide calcium carbonate and calcium hydroxide all the three are basic bases and therefore those react with acetic acid and this oxalate does not react with the acid because it is not basic in nature then the next question aluminum is not present in which of the following following methods so the answer is so the answer is flow spar uh, all the others contains uh, aluminum in its all these other ores contains aluminum except flow spar now the 18th question is sodium peroxide is yellow then when exposed to air become it becomes white so in air means it is having both oxygen hydrogen uh, carbon dioxide all but first of all it becomes uh, sodium peroxide what is the formula of sodium peroxide it is Na2O2 sodium peroxide first of all it will be converted to NaOH and further when it reacts with the carbon dioxide it will form Na2CO3 so what is the answer it will be option D NaOH Na2CO3 both those are white in white and there is that is why it is becoming white in color now next question is which for which of the following set of raw materials are used in the manufacturing of Na2CO3 by Solvay process Solvay process is extremely important so you should you know that you should know that and what is the part of the products the products will be NaCl NH3 and CO2 that is I know so, I'm sorry not the products that is the raw materials are NaCl NH3 and CO2 and this results in the formation of Na2 CO3 okay so the next question is about the covalent chloride among these the covalent chloride is BeCl2 we already know MgCl2 CaCl2 and NaCl will lose electrons towards chlorine atom to form ionic bonds but BeCl2 is extremely small and it is it is comparing to this it is small and therefore it will be having lesser tendency to lose the electrons toward to chlor chloride ion uh, Cl so that it will be forming a covalent chloride rather than an ionic one then next question the 21st question is which one of the following has 
magnesium in it and the answer is chlorophyll this is a very very important important especially for neat students neat students the question can come in a reverse order that is in chlorophyll which of the following elements elements are present and you should remember that is magnesium okay now towards the next question next question is alkaloid iron is so what is alkaloid and alkaloid ions are alkali metals alkali metal anions anions with oxidation state minus one so that is uh, alkaloid ion and it is diamagnetic nature again you need not study the explanation but just remember that I, if there is a question about alkaloid ion it is definitely diamagnetic in nature now the 23rd question is uh, hydration energy of mg2 plus is higher than which of the following so it is na plus it is higher than na plus because of the smaller size of mg2 plus smaller than smaller than na plus and therefore it is having higher hydration energy okay next question is the 24th question is about the sodium nitrate decomposes above 800 degree Celsius. so this is a previous question in the iat je examination and above 800 degree celsius it forms oxygen so the reaction can be represented like this and uh, so this is the answer of this question please do write down this reaction as well write down all the reaction that we have taken we are uh, we have discussed here today because it can sum up the whole s block elements part without reading any more textbook you can just refer all those to give get uh, give answers for any reaction type questions that come from this part now we'll go to the next question so the final question is which of the following metals form uh, peroxide on heating in excess oxygen and the answer is barium and this due to the large size large size so these are 25 questions 25 important questions in uh, s block elements and therefore you it can help definitely help you to answer a lot of questions in your examination continue watching our channel for the series of others uh, other we are going to do three more series of s block rank and sharing questions and it is definitely going to help help you a lot so keep watching and subscribe our channel hit the bell icon for more videos and definitely share this with all your friends and if you have any doubt or queries please do ask us in the comment section below